Hey guys, this is Jimmy, and today I'm going to take and print another Marvin keychain. Uh, I really like printing the Marvin because it's uh, gives me a pretty good baseline on whether it's what I'm doing is actually working or not on just in this printer. But today I'm going to print a larger one. I'm going to go up to 100, 100 millimeters tall, and so it's going to be the, probably the biggest print I've, ever, I've done on this so far, other than that uh, the spool holder. So I'm just getting my print bed ready. Um, I have been using that uh, Elmer's uh, the stick glue. I've been using that, and I don't replace it every single print. I've probably been getting able to get about five or six prints because uh, it stays sticky enough. But I figured today I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the build plate and get ready to start a new layer of it to make sure everything sticks right. And what I've been using is uh, the 90% uh, rubbing, al rubbing alcohol, and it seems like it really cleans it off really nice. Let's put a little bit on there. And start wiping it back off. actually seems like it leaves kind of a residue that stays pretty sticky which is not a bad thing really because it uh, just makes sure that it adheres a little bit better anyway. I think that should do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start preheating my Prepare, preheat PLA, and then we're going to go back to prepare, auto home. I should put my glue on there first, but that's alright. Does it take a whole lot just just a light coat of it should work. Okay, so I'm going to set this up for the time lapse and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. How about that? Nine hours, 28 minutes is what it took to print. It was a 0.2 layer height. I think it turned out alright. It's uh, 100 centimeters tall. 
or so 100 millimeters tall sorry about that <laughs> you can see the lines it's actually turned out really smooth in, in the video and even in, in this it looks like it's got more grooves than it really does it's actually pretty smooth it's, at least it's nothing like it used to be looks like there's a little bit of an issue there the fan shroud I used today was the original one I printed and it's the wrong wrong size it's a little bit too small so it doesn't really funnel the air down like it's supposed to but uh, I'll take and I'll uh, print a new one up but I think it turned out really good yeah I think it turned out really good I'm just letting the print bed cool down a little bit and then I'll be able to pop it off. Let's go ahead and pause the camera for the moment and I'll be right back with you as soon as it cools down. Uh, as soon as it hits 36 degrees Celsius it uh, makes a little cracking noise and then it just comes right off. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're getting to that moment. But, yep, there's the cracking noise. It's down to 37 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Usually when it hits between 36 and 34, I can just reach over and it just comes right off. It's down to 36 right now. It's getting close. Blow on a little bit and see if it'll help it. <laughs> down to 35 degrees it's getting pretty there it goes okay so you can see down here on the bottom uh, let's get zoomed in those lines that's where that fan's going to really come in handy once you get the fan shroud fixed up the right way that's going to help out with that stream a little bit right there under the eyes mm, looks like a little separation by can't tell for sure right there. It's not bad though. Underneath the ears of it, it's where the it's got a little stringy. But other than that though, it's really I'm surprised about the loop. It really turned out good without supports. And look at the top of it, how it sealed it up. Looks really good. I'm happy with it. It's a far cry from what this printer was printing before. We put those new brackets on it. <laughs> it just popped off the bed. Anyway, it turned out great. I think my wife's going to really like this one. <laughs> She's getting a whole collection of these Marvins. <laughs> okay, well, if you like my view, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.